Leos, this is Nicola with Intimate Wisdom. So we will be doing your monthly reading for July 2017. This will be a general reading. Um, if you guys want to check out my love videos, I have got those as well for you guys. Um, I'll be putting the links in the description. I have a love video for singles and a love video for couples. Um, like I said, this is a general reading for your monthly overview. And I'll also be doing you guys a, a birthday reading. Happy birthday, by the way. Um, I'm starting with you guys this month because it is your month. And um, I'll put the link to that birthday video in the description. Happy birthday, guys. Let's go ahead and shuffle these cards. These cards are so big. I got some new cards, y'all. So I'm excited about it, though. <laughs> I'm so excited about it. I'll be using the Angel Tarot cards by Doreen Virtue for my spread. And I'll also be doing clarification cards with my regular uh, Right Away deck. And I'll be using some more psychic cards for clarification on things that, you know, we should be working on Lego this month. So let's go ahead and um, finish shuffling so I can pull for you guys. And always check out my notes over here. Make sure I got everything together for you guys. All right, let's pull. So let me get my wallet. Okay. All right. So, ooh. The underlying energy I got for you guys this month is justice. So maybe there's some things that need to be weighed out this month for you guys. Um, I pulled earlier for you guys, and that kind of makes sense with the card that I pulled earlier. So what we're working on in the past, you guys have may have had a false sense of entrapment. Basically, and this is what I'm getting from this, because last month you guys did have some situations that were coming apart. Some situations that were falling down or, you know, breakups, just upheaval at in, in everything and I think with that going on you may feel like you're kind of stuck or at a standstill because I did pull the four of, of um, swords earlier so you are feeling stuck you're feeling like you're at a standstill um, you're kind of feeling your emotions are kind of getting the best of you this month and, and, and honestly I think you just need to look at things from a different perspective because like I said last month when something falls apart it's only making room for something better something better will be built up so you you just kind of you gotta, you kind of gotta keep that in the back of your mind. Yes, yeah, things may have fell apart um, in this situation, or things may have went took a left turn in my life. But you got the Libra scale, so things are gonna balance out. Things are gonna come, are gonna come, you know, back towards you. Good things are gonna come back towards you. Let's see what we got up here. We got the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, it's, it's some things in your past that got you shaken up. Um, we just got to keep moving forward, guys. We got to keep working through this. We got to keep, you know, pushing. Leo, you can't give up right now. I know you guys are feeling sad because of this recent upheaval that you guys have had, but you have got to keep moving. Because um, right now, you know, things are going to start changing for you. Like I said, you got the Libra scale. So things are going to start balancing out for you guys. You guys got to be able to move forward with everything. Um, kind of, instead of focusing on this negative over here, because I got a lot of, you know, negativity from this situation over here. Instead of focusing on that, focus on the good things that are going on right now. Plant, plant the seeds for the things that you want to see in your future. And that can change your reality right now. Because I see you in your head a lot. Let me go ahead and pull some clarification cards. Because I'm just going to keep talking, trying to give you guys advice on <laughs> what I think you should do. But the situation I'm seeing is, you know, you guys had a lot of upheaval last month. Um, toward the end of the month, actually, and I remember reading that on a lot of you guys. So right now, you know, what you feeling like you at a standstill and you feeling trapped. I think you need to understand that things are going to balance them way out, balance their way out, Leo. Y'all know I can't talk. Y'all just gotta bear with me. I'm sorry. I'm gonna stumble over my words, but I'm gonna get that point across to you guys. So let's go ahead and pull a clarification. Oh. Yeah. 
You feel like you had to leave some things behind, Leo, to, in order to move forward. You felt like um, there were some things that had to change, some things that um, just had to go away. And I, and I saw that a lot in your reading. There were some things that had to change, some things that had to come, come undone, come apart, you know. That tower, I remember seeing that. Um, let's go ahead. I know you... Let's see. Let's pull one for this. Let me pull another clarification card. It's basically telling me the same thing I just said. Um, there's great sadness. Um, and probably with this relationship going, and I want to say this because you pulled the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So the Ten of Pentacles usually represents a happy time or um, a happy union or a happy family. And with it being reversed, you feel like all that is lost. You feel like there's no hope for, you know, a reconnection. Or even if you don't want the situation yourself, you feel like maybe you lost your chance at this love that you thought you had or this situation that you thought you had and this is a general reading this isn't a love reading but this is what it's turning into so i just gotta go with it guys um but I, I like i said you need to look at things from a different angle you need to concentrate on what's good right now um whether that be your career whether that be the you know your home life maybe if you have children your children you need to focus on what's good in your life right now and kind of get past this negative feeling yeah, I did. Like I said last month, I did see some heartbreak, and I just pulled a three of swords. Um, so this heartbreak came in, and it kind of came in fast, kind of took you by surprise, which would be the tower of something happening that you couldn't control. Um, but you definitely need to look at things from a different angle. Um, try to see the positives in this. You know, this situation may not have been the best situation for you, so you may have needed to move past the situation. Let me go ahead and pull... See what this is here. Yeah, there was a lot going on. There was a lot you had to juggle with this situation, and there were some choices that needed to be made. And I said that last month. And those choices have been made, whether you made them or not. Those choices have been made. Let's go ahead and see what kind of guidance we got. Okay. Keep working towards your goals. Keep working toward the things that are kind of keeping you above water right now. You understand? You're, don't let your emotions take you down because all this over here is emotional. Do not let your emotions take you down because you have good things coming in. You have new opportunities coming in within your career. You have new opportunities coming in within your home life. So new projects you can be starting. Kind of divert your attention and, and, and you know, focus on something other than this situation. Go ahead and pull one. Yes, and you need to learn how to love yourself. I, Leo, I know you know how to love yourself. This is something that I shouldn't have to tell you guys, but right now I think you're, you're kind of going into this self-pity mode. So I think you need to kind of learn how to nurture that, that, nurture that lion within you, nurture that beast within you. You know, I know it's hurt right now. You're kind of licking your wounds, but nurture yourself. Love yourself, Leo. You know how to love yourself best, and, and I know there's no reason... That I should have to, you know, tell you this. But right now, I know a lot of you guys are feeling kind of heart, heartbroken right now. Situation didn't go as you thought it was going to go. Now. Got it twice. Okay, so. I think right now you may be being a little too hard on yourself, and I think I just said that. You are being too hard on yourself, Leo. You are being too hard on this on, on yourself in regards to the situation. Get out of your feelings, Leo, and I hate to say it that way, but that's basically what's going on. You're feeling trapped and at a standstill with your own feelings, making you feel like you're cold-hearted. Or, And I, I don't want to say that, but I kind of feel like you feel like you need to be cold-hearted right now, and you don't. You don't. Do you have a second chance at this thing that you're trying to do, whether it's with a person or just moving on and having a second chance at life right now? Just stop judging yourself. Stop. Stop. Get out of your head. Let's see. More battles. More battles. 
you got to get out your head. You have got to get out your head. Leave all that stuff behind. All this that you're going through right now, leave it behind and move forward. Let's go ahead and pull one for him. Okay. I mean, Leo, like I said, you, you, you're coming up with some things when it comes to your career. You're coming up with some things when it comes to your home, but you're letting this influence your thoughts right now. This heartbreak or this destruction or whatever this is that fell apart last month, whether it has something to do with your career, whether it has something to do with your love life. I really think it's your love life because I see love over here. I see heartbreak over here. You got to get out your feelings right now. Cause you have, you are at such a fertile time to follow your, follow your dreams, follow, follow your intuition, whatever you feel. That's what you need to do right now. But definitely follow your dreams, cause you definitely have a lot going on within your career, and I think you're not seeing a lot of it because of this recent shakeup you had. Let's go ahead and pull some guidance cards so we can see exactly what information needs to be put out and any guidance that needs to be put out. Okay, have faith, have faith that your prayers are, have been heard and are being answered. And I think that definitely fits with this situation that you got going over here. Like I said, your underlying energy of the month is just as things are going to weigh themselves out. Things are going to balance out. You just got to be patient. Um, release judgment about yourself. I said that as well. Don't judge yourself too much. But release judgment about yourself and others and focus on the love and light that is within everyone. So like I said, and like I always say, whatever you put out is what you get in. So if you're putting out negativity, that's what you're going to get. Try to put out that positivity. Be the change that you want to see and um, watch it change your life. Let's go ahead and pull some more. I'm going to be pulling from three different decks of Oracle cards, only two apiece, just so I can get guidance for you guys. Um, I just want to give you the full reading so you guys have a full overview of what you need to look forward to and what you need to work on. Let's go ahead and pull. More mental conflict, more mental conflict. Now, you pull love begins, and I think that starts with you and because it's the one, I believe that the love needs to begin with you right now. This month, Leo, I definitely think you need to focus on loving yourself and taking that love that you feel for yourself and pushing it out into the universe so that it can come back to you. Um, this mental in your head, like I said, you got to get out your feelings, baby. Not. And I know it says mental conflict, but when you're in your feelings, you're in your head, you're thinking. So you definitely need to get out your head. You, never, you need to get out your feelings. Let all the thought go and just feel. Feel the good things that are going on around you. And when you feel those good things that are going on around you, push those good things back out into the environment. We're going to end this reading with the Oracle um, Goddess card so we can see what our spirit guides have to say for the month. And guys, like I said, I'll be doing my love videos. Um... I'm going to do it right when I get done with this, so I'm going to be putting the link in the bio. I mean, the link in the bio. I'm going to be putting the link in the description for the um, the singles and the couples love readings. And I'll also be doing you guys a happy birthday reading. I get tongue-tied sometimes. I, I say it a thousand times, but that's what's going on. So, it was way too many cards. And all, the whole deck fell on my hand almost. So, let's go ahead and pull the or card. A new door is opening. Step over the threshold. Get out of your feelings, Leo. Get out of your feelings. Start bringing that positivity into yourself so that you can push it back out. Because right now I see a lot of negative thoughts, a lot of negative feelings when it comes to this situation that fell apart. But it's time for you to rebuild. It's time for you to get back to your stance. It's time for you to get back on your throne, baby. So, Leo... You guys work on this. I'll be praying for you guys. Stay tuned for my mid-month reading. And if you have not subscribed to my page, please subscribe. Thank you so much if you have subscribed. I enjoy reading you guys' comments. Please, please, please comment. Let me know how you feel about my videos. Share my videos. Like my videos. Subscribe to my videos. Um, I'll be putting all my uh, information links at the bottom. Um, if you guys want to donate to my GoFundMe, I'll put that at the bottom. I'll, you can also donate through my PayPal um, if you guys would like to do that. Um, 
follow me on all my other social media links, guys. I will respond back. I will follow back. And we can always be in communication. Just reach out to me, guys. This has been your reading for July 2017. I really hope you enjoyed it. If not, I am truly sorry. Um, please check your sun, moon, and rising if it does not resonate with you. If it does, hit me up for a uh, reading. I'll put my email in the description. And um, you are guaranteed. I don't know if I told you guys, but if you... If you purchase a reading for 25 or more, you're guaranteed a follow-up reading within two weeks. You just have to make sure you schedule that reading within two weeks with me. So that's all I have for you guys right now. Um, stay tuned for more videos and stay tuned for those love videos. Y'all have a good night.